Monday, everyone. What a great show we have to kick off this week. But first, some sad news to report. Chris Cuomo is dead, <laughs> lifting a lot of weight now that he's unemployed. Yep, this dumbbell is taking his aggressions out on the barbells. But in all seriousness, our show lost an important ally this weekend, someone who's been a hell of a supporter and deeply involved in the success of this program since day one. You could say he was our shining light, our lodestar, our muse, second banana in his own family, but number one in our hearts. <laughs> That was a lot of work put into that. <laughs> In a blow that has left all of us reeling, Chris Cuomo was terminated from CNN after the network allegedly just learned that he had been accused of sexual misconduct by a woman who had worked with him previously at ABC. Yeah, just learned. They also just learned the PP tapes were fake, Jesse Smollett is a liar, and Don Lemon can't read. <laughs> Of course, this tragic news is leaving a huge hole in my show. When it came to laughs, Cuomo provided more than a bus full of nitrous huffing clowns. The shock has left many of us in denial. Yeah, so my job just got a lot harder having Chris gone. I mean, the amount of idiotic things he would say on TV made my day so easy. <laughs> Not anymore. Merry Christmas. 5,000 Chris Cuomo jokes we'll never use. What a waste of two hours. I think it's awesome. All right, now he's gonna be able to focus all his attention on making these shirtless workout videos. I mean, these are great. It's just that he said so many dumb things. I just can't believe we're gonna have to cover the news now. <laughs> Wait. So you're saying there's not gonna be those nightly dumbass handoffs between him and Don Lemon? God, what am I gonna talk about? Whatever! Yep. It's been a rough day for all of us. Everyone here. Let's go to Carl Bernstein. Tell us, is this worse than Watergate? What we are watching is worse than Watergate. Are there echoes of Watergate in this? And there are, we're also witnessing something we did not see in Watergate, which is a meltdown. What we're seeing uh, is worse than Watergate. Yes. <laughs> For once, Carl is right. Obviously, people handle the news differently. Some people are weeping, others are lashing out in anger, and some are just trying to eat away the pain. Oh, the crunch. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> and there are others who, after more Cuomo crap hit the fan, happily threw him under the bus, pretending they were always critical of his behavior. There were just so many headaches, time and time again, involving Chris Cuomo, that even though you know, many viewers loved watching Cuomo, Cuomo primetime and looked forward to his show, that he was causing so many headaches for the network and for CNN staffers, uh, that ultimately this decision was reached. <clears throat> yeah, he says that now, but you gotta hand it to the pudgy pontificator. <laughs> he puts the company man in company manatee. <laughs> in case you forgot, this bloated broadcaster does a show nobody watches called Reliable Sources. But apparently when it came to the Chris Cuomo story, those sources weren't reliable at all, uh, reliable at all because he remained silent for months on the Cuomo scandals, preferring to spend his time playing clips of Fox News and complaining about our huge ratings. <laughs> and now he's trying to rewrite history. Meanwhile, Cuomo is now claiming that Zucker was aware of everything. His spokesman telling the Wall Street Journal, owned by our parent company, the Olsen Twins, <laughs> that Chris and CNN President Jeff Zucker were widely known to be extremely close and in regular contact, including about the details of Mr. Cuomo's support for his brother. And now CNN snapping back, telling the journal that Cuomo has made a number of accusations that are patently false. This reinforces why he was terminated for violating our standards and practices. So it's about to get uglier than a sheep with a bikini wax. <laughs> but whoever wins this battle, it can't look good for CNN. Yep, it's no longer the most trusted name in news at regional airports or Delta terminals. <laughs> Even the broadcasting balloon boy wonders, has CNN lost trust as a result of this? Has CNN lost trust as a result of this, Sarah 
Well, uh, you know, I don't know. That's hard to say if uh, CNN has lost trust. <laughs> you just said it. <laughs> but maybe it is hard to say. I mean, how can CNN lose something they destroyed with their own hands? Where is this trust to lose after the collusion hoax, the fine people lie, the injecting bleach hoax, Covington, Kavanaugh, Smollett? But like newborns with a pacifier, CNN is so cute when they suck. <laughs> As you know, we were the first to discover the charms of Cuomo and supported him all the way. <laughs> Like all these CNN clowns now angling for his job, they're despicable. As you know, Chris Cuomo was their highest rated host. <laughs> True, that's like having the most fingers at a leper colony. <laughs> the skin biopsy I got last year drew a larger audience than Cuomo. <laughs> Turns out that skin tag was a honey nut Cheerio. <laughs> but it still beat Cuomo in the 18 to 54 year old demographic, which is important. So what does this mean for the 9 p.m. slot? Who should CNN put there? I smell a Nexio. Gutfeld, in association with Jiffy Lube, presents Who Wants to Be a Primetime CNN Host? So what's it take to make it on CNN other than a ton of low self-esteem or famous parents? Well, it turns out getting hired has nothing to do with talent, brains, or even good hair. Nope, the less engaged you are with the American public, the more likely you'll get hired. You see, CNN is not about ratings, it's about reach, meaning that the network exists only to create angry clips of fake news, which they then disperse on the internet, where its influence is really peddled. It's like a baseball farm team that develops talent to send up to the major leagues, where they will be watched by a bigger audience. So instead of appeal, CNN seeks the opposite. I mean, let's take a look at their current anchors. So, are you angry and petulant? Are you the product of famous parents? Are you miserably arrogant? Are you just plain stupid? <laughs> Do you look like you passed away 10 years ago? <laughs> if you fill, fulfill most of that criteria, <laughs> CNN is hiring. Because like a very lazy paperboy, CNN's not interested in delivering news. Their real profit model is to attract eyeballs through conflict. Think of the Jerry Springer show, but in tiny bite-sized servings, fired like a glitter gun into the population. And the worse you feel about America, the better they do. That should be their slogan. <clears throat> or an uneducated consumer is our best customer. So will they find another Chris Cuomo? Maybe we should leave CNN with some lasting words of hope to make them try. Let's say it one more time, shall we? What do you say? Let's get after it. What do you say? Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. It's a big night. What do you say? Let's get after it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.